found my glasses. Hello my lovely vapies. Welcome back. Today's video is a vape vlog. Alright guys, yes, it has been a while since I've done a true vape vlog. I think it's been like exactly a month since I've done like an actual vape vlog with e-liquid of the week, questions and shout outs, a spotlight, some vlog footage. So I'm finally organized enough to do a vape vlog. My hair may still be wet and I may have just found my glasses after three months, but we're good to go now. Yes, I actually lost my glasses in February, so March, April, May. So about three months-ish. I didn't know when the last time I saw them was. I looked everywhere. I've looked for months and I honestly just gave up hope looking for these glasses. When I was going to head down and get a new pair of glasses shortly but we actually did some rearranging to our living room and added I got some more decorations and like an area rug and so we moved our couch out and I swear I already looked behind the couch but they were there so thank god because I really can't see at nighttime while driving without these and I'm not a contact person like I don't I, I used to wear contacts but I just I can't with the contacts but anyways let's get this vape vlog started so I haven't done a vape vlog in a long time and usually Usually I try to do one a week and then I have my e-liquid of the week but because it's been a while I have a couple different e-liquid of the weeks I think I have one for every week since the last time I did a vape vlog and the last time I did a vape vlog I didn't have an e-liquid of the week because I didn't love anything that I had tried because I literally like looked right before I filmed this like when the last time I did a vape vlog was so I would like know how long it's been and what e-liquids I've looked at because I have a couple favorites so I'm gonna go in kind of order of like least favorite to most favorite so I'll save the best for last but definitely my and this was kind of like if it had to go from like what I like to what I didn't like this would definitely have to be at the bottom but it's really good like it's not I'm not saying that it's not as good as those other flavors it's just also weird that what is this flavor it's like it would be in my favorites it's crazy this is actually unique e-cigs north country line and this is the mountain mix and this flavor is caramel cocoa, pineapple, and coconut, and tobacco. And yes, you can definitely taste the tobacco in this flavor, but the rest of the flavors in there are so good that this is why this has become one of my faves. Ugh. And I will put a link below to all of my faves if you're interested in checking them out for yourself. But I can't believe it like I have ne I haven't liked a tobacco flavor since like I first switched to vaping and I didn't even really like tobacco flavors it was just the best because they were so similar to a cigarette to help me quit because I had a hard time quitting cigarettes and then these next ones are kind of like neck and neck for second place because they're both really good they're completely different so but this is OFE old fashioned elixirs peach cobbler and it is so freaking good it doesn't want to focus but like you know that's my life right now but this is like the best peach cobbler vape I've ever had and the best cobbler vape it tastes so real like the dessert and then second would go to the systems secondhand sofa now I can't remember what this is exactly supposed to be like what the flavor description is but to me it tastes like gusher candy and it tastes exactly like those types of like gum fruity like fruit by the foot fruit roll-up stuff tastes just like that and it's so freaking good let's see if this one will focus no? Yeah? There we go. And that one is delicious as well. Now this last one, this is the last e-liquid of the week. This was, I think, two weeks ago I found this? Maybe a maybe two weeks ago? I don't know. But it's empty. This is, oh, this I have to have more of this. This is the Cakery e-liquid. It is so good. It's by the people who make the Tasty Cloud line. And I think Fix e-liquid too. I think they do that line as well I'm not sure but oh my god it's so good it tastes just like birthday cake 100% and right now I'm actually vaping the buttercream dream which is their other flavor which is basically just the same as this only more of a heavier frosting note and raspberry or strawberry filling and it's so good and now that we've talked about it I need to vape it mmm but now that we have talked about those flavors of mine being my favorite, if you want to experience flavors like that for a long time to come, you need to support HR 2058, support the Cole Bishop Amendment, and support the coalition of vaping advocacy groups that have come together to help fight against the FDA regulations that were just announced, I think, in like May 5th they were. We've known they are coming for a long time, but May 5th they were like, here you go, it's actually happening. If you don't want to lose all your favorite flavors, because I don't want to lose all my favorite flavors, oh my god. 
God, then you need to do these three things. And I will put links below to HR 2058, to the Cole Bishop Amendment, and to the information about the Coalition of Vaping Advocacy Groups. So please do that. Okay, time for some questions and shout outs. I don't think I've done any of these in a long, long time, but I did tweet earlier to say, you know, comment some questions and I'll see them for this video if you have any questions because I chat all the time over on Twitter. If you're like one of those people, I hate this, I get this comment all the time. Comments down below my video and it's like, you never talk to your fans. I always, I literally always, every single day, I talk to you guys on Twitter and I love it. I love chatting over there so that is the best place to chat with me. But let's go ahead and check out some of these questions and comments. That's not one. All right, the first shout out goes to Keisha Colon, says, I can say it's been about three months smoke free. Congratulations, that is awesome. Let me know down in the comments below what you are using and what helped you get smoke free. That is amazing, congratulations. Keisha, that's a cool name, and welcome to the vape fam. Don Sullivan asks, I was wondering if you get any headaches from trying a bunch of different flavors. I've been getting headaches from switching up flavors. This was on my first ever uh, sample box taste test video and I have not ever gotten a headache from vaping. I don't ever think like I don't get headaches often and I'm pretty sure I've never gotten one from vaping. And I tried gazillions of flavors and I've never gotten a headache from switching up the flavors. I didn't get a headache during that video. Um, I think you should definitely go see your doctor if you are getting headaches frequently because this is the first time I've ever heard of somebody getting a headache from switching flavors. Maybe you would get a headache if you vaped and vaped and vaped and didn't drink any water and then you're dehydrated, but I am not a doctor, I'm not a medical professional in any way, and I suggest, Dawn, if you are having headaches, then you need to go see your doctor and rule out things that it could be or could not be, because I've never heard of vaping doing that for just from switching different flavors. Katrina McClurg says, hi Tia, I just wanted to proudly say that I have quit smoking. That is freaking awesome. She goes on to say, I bought a secondhand e-leaf I stick 50 watt from my bestie a while ago. That is awesome. Congratulations, Katrina. You are amazing and welcome to the vape fam. Let's have a vape for you. Mm. Oh, that flavor. It's buttercream dream in here right now. Can you believe it? I actually for once don't have pound it in here. I have the switched it up to a different type of cake. Buttercream dream. Will Park is asking this or Joytech Ego AO for beginners. And he's at, meaning this, he means the Kanger Sub Vod Starter Kit or the Ego AO. I really like both of them, but if I had to pick one, I might just pick the Kanger one because the coils, I like those coils better. But the functionality of the Ego AIO is so much better. It has a child proof tank, it has a light on the tank. The filling method is way easier, but I don't know, I guess. I, I guess I'd have to say the Kanger just because I like the coils better, but I guess it would just it just depend on if you like the Ego AO coils or the Kanger Tech coils because they're really different. Mm -mm -mm. X How Vaping says, if you had your own e-liquid brand, what would you call it and what flavor would you have? Ooh, that's a fun question. Um. I guess I've never really thought about it. I mean, like, I've thought about it. Like, I've been like, oh, it'd be cool to have my own e-liquid. But I've never thought about clever names or anything like that. I'm not really that clever when it comes to, like, witty little things to say and cool little names. But I am fascinated when a company can come up with a really cool one. Um, I don't know. I... I have no idea. And I really have no idea if it's going to be something that I would even look into with these deeming regulations happening. I mean, start up an e-liquid line and then just have it smashed by the deeming FDA regulations. But the names would definitely have to do with like things of my personality, I think. That was a really shitty answer to your question. I'm sorry. I'm not super creative. Vaping Scalloper says, what's the longest you've had to go without vaping? I've been in the hospital for 24 days and haven't vaped in 14 days. Can't wait to vape. Oh my gosh. I. I remember your story from Twitter. I hope that you get out of the hospital soon. That's a really long time to be in the hospital and you've gone 14 days. That's a long time. How do you feel? I don't think I, I don't know. I don't think I've ever had to go a day without vaping, but have I gone a day without vaping just because I didn't need to pick it up? Yeah, but that's only because it was dead and I was too lazy to charge it or I didn't know where it was and I thought it was lost forever and by it I mean my knee box because I refuse, I don't refuse, but I literally like when this is dead I'm like shit I don't have anything to vape instead of actually just vaping one of my other multiple mods. But um, to answer your question I don't have to go very long without vaping ever but I hope that you get better and get out of the hospital soon. Hope McKinney says do you ever have dry or burnt hits on your knee box? I've had mine for a while and with these new coils I'm starting to experience dry hits. 
Um, I only get dry hits if I, if I don't watch the level. Oh my god, like now, look how low that is. If I don't watch the level and then it's really low, then I'll get like a nasty hit. But I haven't experienced any dry hits, especially with these new coils. I love these new coils so much better. But I guess it depends on what new coil you have because there's a couple new coils that can fit in the Kangertech coils and I have the Nichrome coils that look like the ceramic coils, but they're actually Nichrome. They're not the ceramic coils. And they're just called the SSOCC coils, just like the original SSOCC coils that came in the knee box that was leaky but the second version comes with these new ones and so I really have to know which one you're getting but I definitely recommend priming the coil which means like dropping a few drops of e-liquid directly on the coil before vaping it. Lyric Gordon asks what are your top three favorite sweet e-liquid flavors you would recommend? Oh my god that is so hard. It's so hard to pick three but I guess if I had to pick three I would do Pound It by Bonsai Vapor uh, Cakery's e-liquid, um, the birthday bash one is so good. I think I favor it over the buttercream dream only because it tastes like original birthday cake and the buttercream dream has a really heavy frosting, which I like, but I like the toned down frosting version of the birthday bash. And then third, it would, oh god, man, there's so many. I guess Chikora, which is a rice, uh, cinnamon rice milk and it's so good and it's by Cape Fear Juice Company but it's really hard to pick. Those are like three that just come to mind right away but I could name off probably ten more that I absolutely love too. <coughs> no! So Retreat and Kathy Valislu? Valzalu? That's a cool last name. Both of them asked me on my last sample box video if I vape zero nicotine. Now, my sample box does come in zero nicotine. That's what I've asked them to change it because I had six, then I had three, now I have zero. And so I do vape some zero milligram e-liquids, but I still vape three and 1.5 interchangeably like this one in here is a probably I think it's a three yeah and then I have my bonsai's pound it but in a 1.5 right now but I just I go back and forth and I've probably already answered this question before but I think it's a good one because sometimes in a video I'll show a three milligram e-liquid and sometimes in a video I'll show a zero so I guess people are just curious as to what I'm vaping on I'm still using Nick but I really really want to get down to zero nicotine as quickly as possible EF Adam Kafadam I don't know if that's one word or just two words put together into one with no space but he says why don't you got your piercings girl they were good on you <laughs> well I just got over them I took them out and he's referring to my snake bites so anybody who's new here as of like the end of March you would have never seen them unless you watched old videos but I used to have snake bites and I took them out because I don't know I just like everyone's like why'd you take them out you had them for so long but I just got I'm just over them I've had them since I was 15 16 and I just didn't want them anymore, so I took them out. Connor McNichol asks, T, I know you're very familiar with the Kangertech knee box. I was wondering if you've ever had any problems with the tank considering the fact that it's plastic. I've actually never had any problems with this plastic tank. Some people worried about it clouding up. Mine, you can still see right through it. It's really low right now. And I've had lemon pound cake in here for weeks on end and no cracking or anything. So I haven't had any problems with the knee box, which is probably one of the reasons why I still absolutely love it. So that was all the questions and shoutouts I have for you guys today. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm gonna go beat down you. Okay, we'll just push it open. It's okay. Do it! Because I'm just about to talk about you living with me anyway. Huh? It'd be perfect because I'm just about to talk about you living with me anyway. I was gonna mention it. Really quickly, before we moved on I to my vlog footage, I don't even remember what I vlogged because it was so long ago, I wanted to tell you guys that Mama Vapes is actually staying with me for two months. Her and my stepdad have bought a house literally like right down the road from me. I'm pretty sure I've already talked about this in a video or me and my mom have before, <laughs> but I'm super excited. But like now she's living with me, so here. <laughs> Hi. Hi. <laughs> Do you like it? It's been about, how long have we been here? About a week? Mm -hmm. About a week. It's really fun. It's fun. She cooks, I clean. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. <laughs> Ooh, what is that? Do oh, I want to eat it? Cinnamon caramel swirl. Mm. Mm, where are you going to put it? In your room? Yeah. Oh. In our bungalow. Sounds good. Anyways, so it's really fun. I literally get to see my mom every single day and I really like it. And then when it comes time for closing, which is July 8th, then they'll be literally right down the road. It is so much fun. And my mission while she's here is to help her get off smoking completely and vape, or at least vape 
majorly and only smoke maybe like once a day. I don't know. It's It's been really tough to get her to quit. All right. So let's have some vlog footage. I can't, I think it's just a normal day vlog footage day. Like me do, running errands, but I can't remember what I recorded. So I hope you enjoy it anyway. All right guys, I just finished walking my dog and now I'm gonna go into town and run a bunch of errands and take you with me. Okay, hey guys, so guess what? I'm using my car dash mount thingy that I showed in my on my other YouTube channel, but um, I didn't account, like it's big, the clamp is big enough to hold my phone for one. I didn't account for how heavy my phone is, so I kind of have to have it in a different, like a different way for my phone to stay up, otherwise the clamp just goes blah with like the weight of my phone, but maybe I'm just not putting it on right. And one, it said dash mount, so I thought it went on the dashboard, but this is actually window, so it's on my window. I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of like it's not in my way because like usually I have dice on my rear view mirror here But my dice were in the way of the video so I might Flip it around because it's like crooked because my phone is so heavy, but I am going to the post office I got the prizes to mail off for the six giveaway winners that I announced and I need to go to the bank and I need to drive like 45 minutes to get a package that FedEx was supposed to deliver to my P.O. box but they don't deliver to P.O. boxes and so it got my name was close to this other person's name sorry and they delivered to that person's house instead of my house because like when they have a P.O. box they find the person's actual home address to deliver to from UPS or USPS so because this person knows me, they called me and they're like, hey, we have a package here for Tia Vapes. And I was like, well, I'll come get it because, you. I mean, I don't like FedEx. Mm -mm. That's like my least favorite of them all. No offense to any FedEx workers who may be watching, but I get the most problems with FedEx, honestly. So let's go. So I flipped my phone around. I don't know if that works. And if you notice the claw thingy is slowly falling because my phone's too heavy which kind of sucks so yeah I kind of changed it over so that it was more on me and less of on my car you know so let's get a move on oh my god I forgot to put my earrings in see I'm like down gauging my ears so I forgot to put them in and my ears don't look really good Alright guys, I'm at the store. I'm gonna grab some lunch real quick. Okay, <laughs> let me tell you, I just got out of the store, I just went in real quick to grab myself some lunch, but let me tell you guys about another pet peeve I have, and it may just be me, and maybe I'm weird, and maybe it has to do with my social anxiety, but I cannot stand it when people in line at the store, I need a vape, I'm like so irritated. I can't stand it when people in line at the store have to be so freaking close to me. <laughs> like, I give people, like, the person in front of me checking out, I give them plenty of space. I don't move forward until there's, like, a good, you know, like, three feet on the conveyor belt part to put my groceries down. Well, I was paying, and the guy behind me, like, if I would have moved, like, back one inch I would have ran into his cart and he had one of the little carts too not a big regular size cart but a little cart so it's like why and he like put all of his stuff like right at the front why do you have to be so close to me that the cashier could probably assume that we are like together you know like the same freaking <laughs> just like don't touch me don't come near me I don't want to breathe your air 
And maybe that's just me and maybe I'm just weird and being super anti-social, but... Oh, green light, okay. That semi took forever, but I can't stand it. Like, give me some space in the checkout line and I will give you space. And why are you in such a rush that you have to be up my butthole, you know? That's what it feels like. It's like, it feels like you're in my butthole. Like, give me some space. Stay out of my bubble. <laughs> but yeah, okay, on to the bank and then the post office. I'm gonna check my P.O. box and mail out all these prizes. And then I don't know if I'm gonna go see my mom now or drive all the way out to the middle of nowhere and pick up that package that FedEx delivered to the wrong address first. But I'll make a, de a decision before I leave the P.O. box post office place, so. Yep, ranting. With the giveaway stuff. guys just got out of the post office and so I like I said earlier I only had to mail off five of the six giveaway winners because the tsunami e-liquid people were sending out the line of e-liquid themselves like directly from them so to send out all five of those it was 60 bucks not too bad like I was expecting it maybe to be a little bit more because Two of the prizes were big package bundles of vape stuff. So that's how much it costs for me to send out five giveaway prizes. If anybody, everyone's always asking like, oh, it's gonna be a lot in giveaway. And so anyways, <laughs> rant time. Now, I'm gonna preface this by saying I love my uh, post office guys and gals. They are some really nice people. And you know, I get all my PO box stuff and you can kind of see I got some vape mail. And I'm gonna go get this other package before I visit my mom because I'm running short on time because I have a manicure at two and there's also a package at my mom's but god see I'm the worst storyteller like even when I'm trying to rant anyways like I said I love my post office people they're so nice because I go there all the time I have my PO box shit sliding around back there and I always send out my giveaways through the post office they, they know me and I know them and they're really nice and they know what I do. So I'm like waiting while the guy is like, you know, weighing out the giveaway things and I have to turn on some air. So sorry, I'll talk louder. And so, cold air, cold air, please. Where was I, guys? It's, uh, vlogging and driving is actually harder than it looks because you have to like think about what you're, okay. Anyways, one of the people that I, I love her. She is amazing, she's such a nice person. And I actually was trying to help her quit smoking, but it, uh, vaping, it didn't work for her at first. She's not ready, but she said when she's ready, she will. But, so I'm so glad that I mark fragile on my packages that are fragile, because I see them just chucking packages in the back, like chucking them from bin to bin. What's the speed limit? What, I know it was 30, but then it changes to 50. Oh, here's the 50 sign. And they're just chucking them, and I'm like, oh my God, like, Imagine if I forgot to like label a package fragile and had e-liquid in it and they're just fucking chucking them throughout the room. Oh, it's crazy. But okay, so this is about, this will be about like a 45 minute trip to go pick up this package. And I'm gonna show you guys the scenery because it's really pretty. It, I actually get really stressed out driving this road because it's so windy, but um, I want you guys to see it.
Okay guys, I am here and while that drive might have seen like beautiful scenery, that twisty ass road gives me such bad anxiety. I need a vape. Because not only is it twisty and windy as fuck, but you got to watch out for deer. You got to watch out for falling trees. You got to watch out for falling rocks. And I will slow it down to the part. There's a part where you're coming down that windy hill and the road is giving way. So, oh my god. And it's been like that for a while now. Like, what do they even do? To fix that shit because it's so scary okay so I'm gonna get my package now from these guys and probably eat my salad and then go because I have an appointment at 2 and it's 12:40. and I'm here at my mom's work to pick up another package got my package from the people that the oh what there it is <laughs> that got mixed up so big of a package got all these packages to open when I get home for some vape man let's go say hi to mama vapes Alright, so I got my package from my mom, visit with my mom, and now it is time to go get my nails did. Thank God it's literally right across the street, so I can just leave my car park here and then come back when I'm done. <music> stamp on my thumb. Can you guys see that? It's little diamonds. Mm, I'm so happy. This is the first time I've ever had shellac. So it'll last a long time. Isn't that awesome? Thanks to Jasmine. Okay guys, so I just got my nails did. <laughs> and I got a first, this is the first time I've ever had shellac on my nails. And I got a nail stamp. I don't know how well you can see it, but they're little gold diamonds. Anyways, so this is awesome. So I like doing, I like supporting local and people I know. And so I went on Facebook, like my personal Facebook, and asked like, does anybody know anybody who does good nails in town? Because I want to, you know, support locally. And so a girl that I went to high school with for one year, um, because I was a senior when she was a freshman, she, she was like, come to me. And I was like, okay, well, so where's your salon? And it was right in town, like right across from my mom's work. So I was like, heck yes, this is really close by. Let's give it a shot. So she did an awesome job, as you can tell. I love it. This like really light pink color and gold. Anyway, so turns out she freaking vapes. It is so awesome. And I was like, she was asking me questions about vaping. So I was telling her like, you know, asking for advice and stuff. And like, there was a point where I was like, I didn't know if she actually, um, vape just for fun or if she vaped to quit smoking so I was just like finally like I wanted to ask her because you know I, I want to know if, if you're just a vapor for the flavors or if you're a vapor for to quit smoking and apparently and and so she said that she actually is using vaping to quit smoking and I was like heck yes girl she knows all about my YouTube channel because um, like we're friends on Facebook and so it was really awesome like I, I didn't know that she smoked cigarettes and I didn't know that she vaped and I didn't know that she vaped to quit smoking and I was just like yes girl like that's awesome and she uses the Kangertech sub box mini and I was showing her the nano and she's like oh my god that is so cool and like so it was really awesome like she did a great job she's gonna be my new nail girl I'm gonna go to her every time I don't know how long shellac lasts I heard something like I think she said like three weeks and then you need to come get it done again we'll see how long I can stand it because I'm the type like if it chips or anything like that like I'm a picker like when my nail polish chips I pick it so <laughs> uh, like we'll see how long it lasts hopefully it, it lasts me hopefully I only need to do it like maybe like once a month maybe maybe twice a month I don't know I don't know we'll see because my nails grow pretty fast, but I'm really excited to have really a hard freaking nail polish that doesn't pop. And I was fascinated by how quickly it dried. So I just want to give a shout out to Jasmine Rose Beauty at Salon Studio 2. 
are giving me awesome shellac nails. And oh my god, why is traffic stopped? Oh my god, there's a big truck behind me. Please put on your brakes. Okay, it did. Alright guys, so pretty much the day is over for me. I'm going to go home and I'm going to do some fate mail opening and then probably work out to a Julian Michaels DVD and that'll, oh my god, I forgot dinner. I have to go back into town. Fuck. Fuck. Okay, I'll have to turn around. Damn it. Okay. <laughs> See? I got distracted by talk. Uh, uh, uh. Why? Why does traffic keep stopping? What is going on here? Oh, there's a school bus. <laughs> okay, this, see that big truck behind me? Totally terrified of having it behind me. Okay, so I need to get stop. I need to stop talking to you guys so I can focus on driving and not crashing. And now, now I need to go back to the store and get dinner. Whew, it's hot. I got like a little sunburn today. Okay, I'm home. Shall we do a bit of vape mail opening? We'll just go with the smallest package here to my right from TBD Liquids. And I know that stands for the best damn liquid. Well, oh, packing peanuts, my unfavoritest. Something from Geek Vape. Okay, time to make a mess. The Griffin? Oh no, I don't. I have the Griffin 25. So here's the Griffin. Cool, guys. I don't really build. And e liquid. It's there. Here it is. So I got one, two, three, four, six ish. We'll go with this one. And this one is from Comasphere. Oh, looks like I got a building map. Ta da! What is on it? Unreal. Got some vape bands that say Unreal. So it's supposed to be Unreal e liquid. Black bubble wrap. Interesting. I literally have not seen black bubble wrap. Okay. So it comes like this, which is super cool. Looks like a can. It includes three milligram flavor shot, flavor shot, vape band, and sticker. A flavor shot. I is impressed. Can next this box look what's on it da, 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 da. yummy nectar e liquid I took a look at these e liquids uh, well depending <laughs> on when you actually see this vlog which if I'm smart about it it will be this coming Sunday I've already reviewed these e liquids a while ago and fell in love with the utter scotch. And they said they were sending me a care package, and they did, with colorful packing peanuts. So here is a bottle. Oh my goodness, they sent me a lot. Another bottle of Pomerade. Another bottle of Utter Scotch, yeah. Oh my god, oh my god, this looks like a huge bottle. Oh. Please be, it's utterly custard, and it's a huge bottle. Boom. Oh my god, okay, I wanna sniff this one. Utterly custard's like a butterscotch custard. It looks like, oh my gosh. Oh my god. This is a behemoth. Oh my god, I've never had a bottle this big before. This is like, oh my god. God, this is as big as my face. This is utter scotch. Oh my God, this is gonna last me forever. How many milliliters? Look, 120 is dwarfed. God. Holy crap, I wanna smell it. Mmm, woo, it's strong. Woo, definitely needs a little cease. Steepin, I believe. Oh my God. Thank you so much to Carol. I cannot believe, I've never gotten a bottle that big. That is so nice of you. How many mils is this? Anybody, does anybody know? Cause I mean, here's 120 milliliters, which is the biggest bottle I've ever gotten. I get my pound in milk plus in this size. And it's just, it looks 
so little compared to that. Oh my god. Okay. And I actually know what's in this box, and it's really freaking heavy. And I asked them why they are sending me so many. There's one thing in this box, but there's like 30 of them in here. And I asked them, I was like, why are you sending so many? And they never replied. Oh my God, there's 50. There's 50 of these, you guys. I'm not even gonna... I'm not even gonna. Okay, I want, I'll open one box. There's 10 in this box, 10 in my box, 10 in my box, 10. Oh my gosh. Giveaways galore. Anybody need a Raphael X? Raphael X RDA? Holy shite. And this last box is, I haven't looked in it, but it's open because this is the box that went to the wrong address that I picked up today from the people that know me. So, hi guys. <laughs> Let's check it out. Okay, this, I'm gonna do it from the side because, let's be real guys. Old fashioned elixir. Got their e-liquids. I'll go ahead and take one out. To show you guys, this is running a bit long. Bam, 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 bam. Shirts and stickers and shirts and more shirts and more shirts. Ow. And a bunch of e liquid bottles and sunglasses with an e liquid bottle stuck to it. A box. <laughs> an empty box. How cool. Eek. Oh, we're okay. All right, so that is this vape mail. Hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for giveaways of the Raphael tank for sure. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Alright, so that was my vlog footage. I hope you guys enjoyed. Now it's time, oh my god, so since I didn't do, I haven't done a vape vlog in a long time. I did do a giveaway announcement video like two weeks ago, but I didn't do a vape vlog last week um, because the FDA stuff, I was getting together my FDA video. So I have a ton, why am I getting this out? They're not in there. <laughs> I have a ton of giveaway winners to announce right now and I filmed the random picking of the winners and so the first one is the vape mail video that I did for spring like two weeks ago. I started a giveaway on that for the Raphael and the Raphael X and the winner of that one is, I wrote them all down, is Maria B. Alright so here we are on the vape mail video where I'm giving away the Raphael or Raphael and the Raphael X. So copy that, paste it into here, load comments. So there's one winner from this giveaway. There was a lot of comments. And randomly pick the winner. There is the winner. So all these winners, I will be contacting you on the comment you left to enter to win for the giveaway and then we can discuss how you're going to prove you're 18 or older because all of my giveaways are 18 or older and you have to be able to provide proof which is you usually sending me a picture of your face holding your ID so I can see that the faces match and I can see that the date of birth is 18 years or older. And then I have 10 winners to announce for the Old Fashioned Elixirs e-liquid. Each person is going to get the four flavors from their line. The Peach Cobbler was one of my e-liquid of the weeks just now. They also have the Cup of Joe, the Lemon Tart, and then what was the other one? Oh my god, I can't remember the other one. I believe there's four. So there's four e-liquids and 10 winners. And the winners, I'm just going to name them off really quickly and then show you guys the picking of the winners. Rally Red Lancer, Jake Ellis, George Larios, Devin Poole, Stephanie Vapes, Candace Haynes, Alyssa Jamison, Jennifer Knapp. This username is kind of hard to pronounce. It's Psygosis. Psygosis? I don't know if that's right. Psygosis. But I think I banned that person because their comments were really mean. And the 10th winner, Shona Stewart. <laughs> Alright, let's go to the next one, which is the Old Fashioned Elixirs giveaway and this is 10 winners so 
let's go. Oh, not that many comments on this one. Alright, first winner. There we go, next winner. Number three. Number four. Number five. Number six. Number seven. Number eight. Number nine. And ten. But that's not all. I also last week did a giveaway for Unique eSigs North Country line, and the winner of that whole entire line and the nice pine wood box is Ralph Landolfi. Congratulations. All right, now let's go over to this giveaway where you can win a pine box set for the uh, North Country e-liquid by eSigs. So there's only one winner for this one, but you win five e-liquid bottles in a nice pine box. Kind of like this one. Exactly like this one, only mine's on my shelf now. And okay, the comments are loaded. And you also get like a cup and a hat and a towel. The winner is that person. And one more giveaway I did last week for the Cerebus tank by Cerevape, which is a ceramic tank. And the winner is M. Gabby B. And congratulations again, Gabby, because you won the giveaway over on Epic eSig Reviews channel as well. I will leave a link below to Epic eSig Reviews channel, which is a channel where I do collaboration videos with indoor smokers and Danielle from the Dab Spot. And we usually do monthly giveaways, and Gabby won the last one and won one of mine. <laughs> All right, and the last giveaway to pick you, from is the Cerebus giveaway. There is also one winner here. And this is for a ceramic tank. All right. Oh, oh shit. Okay, time to load the winner. There is, oh my gosh, this person won a giveaway on Epic eSig reviews. And as if announcing 13 winners wasn't enough, we are also going to start a new giveaway right now, right here. And this giveaway is also going to have 10 winners for the OEF e-liquid line, Old Fashioned Elixirs. So I will be picking 10 winners from this video, but if you don't want to wait, they're doing a giveaway every single day on all of their social media accounts. I will link below to these. They're doing a giveaway every day on their Facebook, a giveaway every day on their Instagram, and a giveaway every day on their Twitter. So you can get in on that as well if you want, and you can get in to be one of the 10 winners winners I will announce next Sunday and all you have to do is be a subscriber to this channel share this video anywhere on social media I don't care where Facebook Instagram Reddit and then give it a thumbs up and comment down below what your favorite part of the vlogs are do you like seeing the e-liquid of the week do you like the questions and shout outs do you like the vlog portion do you like the spotlight portion which segment of the vlogs do you like the best or is there any new type of segments that you would like to see I used to do a graze box segment where I would show my graze box and take a taste test of each of them but then I think I went through all of these different types of snacks that they have, so I actually didn't stop doing those. If you want to see anything new from me weekly or want to see more of a certain segment that I already have, let me know down in the comments and that's it. Now I know that kind of turned into a long-winded instruction, but it's really easy. Just subscribe to this channel, share this video, thumbs up, and comment down below your favorite part of the vlogs or a part that you'd like me to add. And now it's time to move on to the spotlight portion of the vlog where I show you guys and taste test an e-liquid. When a company sends me one bottle, I don't make a one video for a single flavor, but I will put a spotlight in a vape vlog. So the flavor we are trying is Giant Peach by Alios. Hope I'm saying that right, e-liquid. This is the bottle art. If anyone's ever tried this, let me know. Mmm, ooh, oh wow. Oh wow, it smells like a fresh freaking peach. Alright, let's give her a go. 
wow this is like a really fresh peach and I can I can taste the sweet peach fruit part but I can taste the part of the peach that's close to the pit and when you bite it it's kind of bitter I can taste that part of the peach as well because like when I eat a peach I eat the pit clean peaches are so good and so it's really funny to have not only the sweet juicy fresh peach flavor but also that bitter tang tangy flavor you get closer to the pit mmm I love peach flavors though. Peach flavors are one of my favorite fruit flavors as well as one of my favorite fruits in real life. But if you want to check out this giant peach flavor, I will link below to this company. But that was a really spot on peach flavor. And now for some cake flavor. Okay, so really quickly, I got a few of these in the mail. So I'm going to show you guys one. The other two are in my giveaway bundle to give away when I hit 100,000 subscribers, which is coming up soon. I'm so excited. I think I will be doing a live stream giveaway, my first live stream, but I am going to do a practice live stream probably a few thousand before 100,000 because I want to know how to do it for my big 100,000 stream. But look, so this is Coil Master. It's something from Coil Master, and Coil Master has come out with some incredible stuff so I was really excited to check this out but upon opening it so it comes in this little slip bag and then there's this I'm like what this is a stainless steel juice oiler bottle so this is the thing and it has measurements on the side it has it goes from 2 to 20 it has this little carabiner and then this cap comes off right here and this is where the e-liquid comes out of and you just press this button and you just and the e-liquid just comes out of it, drops out of it. I thought that was pretty cool. I know they make something like this called like the easy dripper for your car for drippers, but this is pretty cool too for on the go. And it can hold 20 mils of e-liquid. I will leave a link below to anybody interested in checking this out. All right, guys, that is it for the vlog today. Got a lot of stuff accomplished. I will leave important links all down below, like most of everything that I talked about in this video, like the advocacy, the e-liquid of the week, the spotlight e-liquid, and the links to the social media for the social media giveaway. So I hope your Monday kicked off great and you have a great rest of your week. I will see you tomorrow for a, a new Tasty Tuesday video. I hope you enjoyed and if you did give it a thumbs up and feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos. Check the description box below for important links like where to get my favorite things like e-liquids, mods, etc. You can follow me on almost any social media site like Instagram, Twitter, or Facebook. I do have a second YouTube channel where I upload random videos of whatever I feel like. So if you want to see more of me that's not vaping related, you can check out that channel. All those social media links will be below. And one more thing before you go, if vaping is something you're passionate about, please join kasa.org or follow notblowingsmoke.org, the AVA, SFATA, all of these vaping advocacy groups that will keep you in the know and up to date on anything happening in the vaping industry. So with that being said, I'm Tia Vapes and thank you so much for watching. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to get an air conditioner in here because it is hot, especially with my wet hair down.